now. Good evening and thanks for joining us here at 11 and streaming live on KMIR.com. I'm Elizabeth Bobian. Gino Lamont has the night off. Two men arrested for the 2006 Pinion Pines triple murders are still sitting in jail tonight, awaiting their trials. Meanwhile, so many questions remain in the cold case investigation, including why this case went cold in the first place. I sat down with Lieutenant Chad Bianco with the Riverside County Sheriff's Department and discussed this case. Bianco is currently running for sheriff and says he wishes this case would have moved forward much faster. There's nothing new. They, they've had these two people's names since day one. To my knowledge, yes. The district attorney's office has had it for quite some time. How long? Uh, an exact date, I can't give you that. I'm not sure. I, it's been a year and a half, maybe even two years. It was sent back to the sheriff's department for further investigation. And, uh, so it's these the same people who you, who you believe did this, com committed murder times three, have been out on the streets. Freedom with the possibility to kill again. Yes. I, when the DA's office has had this for at least two years. It doesn't very good when you put it that way. The, the two that were arrested were not, uh, were not suspects that have recently been uncovered. Public safety was at risk, wouldn't you say? To say that, uh, that someone did that and was not arrested for that many years, if you said that people weren't at risk, you'd, be, you'd sound awfully funny. What do you know or what can you imagine took them a whole year to serve a search warrant at the two suspects' house? Looking back and having hindsight, there's a lot of things that you could say you could have or would have done something different. Um, you have to be cautious, especially in what we do in the crimes that we investigate. You have to be cautious and not, um, not apply rules of TV to real criminal investigations. Why do you think the current sheriff won't return my phone calls or won't grant me an interview about this? You want my personal opinion? Because it's an election year. He spent six years avoiding the media. And every time something bad happens with our department, he sends someone else to talk about it. But because it may be a little bit negative that you're asking him about, which I know it is, um, everyone knows it is, it's, it's not something that, I mean, it took a long time. So the potential of him having to answer hard questions, especially in an election year, he's going to want no part of that. Do you think Paul Zellerbach held out on this until an election year to try it? I can say with probably my, with my own personal opinion with 100% certainty that this case would not have been filed if it wouldn't have been an election year. Because I think, I think with the media attention that it was getting, it was impossible to not do something about it because something was going to happen. Luis was getting too much information and he was getting too much, he was throwing too much out there about potential suspects and about potential witnesses and uh, it, the suspects could have left, they could have fled, they could have done anything. And so I think it made the DA really have to rethink his decision to not file. What do you wish Paul Zellerbach or Stan Sniff would have done different in this case? Cared. I wish they would have cared. There were too many victims of a triple homicide, an unsolved, brutal triple homicide. And the two people that are in charge of this investigation, the top two people that can do anything they want with this investigation, didn't care enough to, to continue it or to put forth the tools that could have made it a whole lot easier. In a recent interview with the DA, Paul Zellerbach, I asked him about allegations that this case was held for prosecution until an election year. He says that is not true. He also says his department has only had the case for about a year. He wouldn't comment on whether or not he believed there were mistakes made in this investigation. Meanwhile, I have reached out to Sheriff Stan Sniff several times requesting an interview. I even left a message for him on his cell phone. None of my calls have been returned.